With increasing media attention on the COVID-19 vaccine, there has been a corresponding increase in the number of conspiracy theories about it. For instance, how can we trust vaccines that have been made so quickly? Good question, how can we? <laughs> what few people know is that Oxford University researchers had already done a lot of work before 2020 on developing a vaccine which could be adapted to tackle different diseases and given the current situation, could be further developed to tackle different pandemics in the future should they arrive. What this meant was that a lot of the building blocks were already in place and scientists weren't starting from scratch. The vaccine has been through all the usual research stages and approval processes, although for speed's sake these processes were overlapped when they usually happen one after another. I've been asked this once too often. Can you stop wearing your mask as soon as you received your vaccine? <laughs> I'm afraid not. We will all still need to practice infection prevention as we've been doing for the past year. Vaccines do not stop the coronavirus from entering your body. They only prevent you from developing moderate to severe COVID-19 symptoms. Don't forget that the reason we wear masks in the first place is to stop transmission of COVID-19. And something that isn't clear yet is whether you will still be able to transmit the virus even if you're not getting sick yourself. In other words, we need to continue to protect others even after the vaccine. This still isn't about you. <laughs> Arguably, the most common myth about the vaccine is that getting it will give you COVID-19. In a word, or maybe two, fake news. The vaccine for COVID-19 cannot and will not give you COVID-19. Now, that's because the vaccine instructs your cells to reproduce a protein that is part of the SARS-CoV-2 coronavirus, which helps your body recognize and fight the virus if and or when it comes along. The COVID-19 vaccine does not contain the SARS-CoV-2 virus itself, so you cannot get COVID-19 from the vaccine. We've said that so often, you cannot get COVID-19 from the vaccine. As for side effects, the COVID-19 vaccine may have a few, but the vast majority are short-term and certainly not terrible, serious or dangerous. There are some reports of people feeling a bit tender at the injection site, as well as some body aches, headaches or a fever lasting a day or two. That's what I got. And if you get that, that's a good reaction. There's signs that the vaccine is working and is starting to stimulate your immune system. And no conversation about conspiracies would be complete without mention of microchips and 5G tracking. Many people are worried that the vaccine will implant some kind of tracking device that's used to monitor and control them, which is absolutely not true. There is no microchip and no one is wanting to track or control it. <laughs> what a crazy conspiracy theory. And the 5G theory, that it's the new 5G networks that have caused the coronavirus and are causing it to spread through radiation is also very much a myth and fake news. COVID-19 is everywhere, even in those countries that do not have 5G networks. There is also solid scientific evidence to show exactly how the virus is spread through water droplets, not an ultra-fast network. As time goes on, I'm sure many more kinds of these theories are going to pop up. I suggest that before you forward the latest WhatsApp voice note, video or email, or even news article, you do your own research using a reliable and most importantly, a verified source. Yeah, and your mother-in-law is not a verifiable source. We're in the middle of a pandemic and it takes all of us to protect ourselves and to protect others too. And in this case, we can fight it with science and of course, a mask.